How are we all doing? I hope you're keeping well out there. Recently I came across a lost SD card and on this SD card was footage of Michael Buck's TV repair shop in Athlone and we went down to see him on the 6th of August back in 2019. Now the video you're going to see is of fairly poor quality. The sound quality leaves an awful lot to be desired and it's quite shaky. It was made with a fairly old smartphone at the time. However, it's quite interesting. Uh, we get to see a lot of uh, interesting and some rare items in his TV shop. He was about halfway through clearing out his shop uh, at the time. Now, of course, we hadn't been intending to make a video when we went down this day as such. Well, certainly not as a long a one that we did. And the quality isn't great. And it was in the fairly early days of me doing stuff on YouTube. But however, nonetheless, I do hope you find it interesting and I hope the quality is at least bearable for you. So please do enjoy the following video. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ah, the yeah, weather starting to take a bit of a turn for the worst here again, I'm afraid. I'm uh, getting washed off the road here. So, uh, I don't think we'll be putting too many televisions in the trailer today anyway. So you were telling me about this yeah. polyscope. It's a polyscope. And what do you yeah. use that for? Uh, you could use it to align any rig. Uh, it's a display waveforms and curves and all descriptions here. Right. Uh, is, it a, is it a wobby lighter as well built in? Uh, yeah, whole lot built in. Yeah. This is the right machine, isn't it? Yeah. be a rare bit of kit. Ah, yeah, I, I, never, I never came across one of them before. Yeah. Roden Schwartz, Germans, Dad. The old Germans made lovely stuff to me. Very common. Right there. Yeah, the the inside of that thing now is a, a state to behold. Like it's a is it valve or solid state? Oh, it's valve. Oh, is it? Uh, it's uh, silver plated and yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Everything is. This, the, those things were thousands when they were. Oh yeah, more than a house. Yeah. <laughs> I bought for twenty five euro. Good man, <laughs> good man. <laughs> Scrap way. <laughs> I like the little Eddie stone, by the way. Yeah, the I haven't seen one of them ones before. What? No, that's an 870, I think is the number of it. An 870? Yeah. That's one of my restoration projects. How's it going now? I haven't, I'm not doing them. I haven't even started. Oh, you didn't get around? No, no, no. no. Yeah, I have one of the other ones, uh, you know, uh, the same size as that, the one that was on the ship. I oh, think yeah, it was an 830, is it? It's 830 or 840. Yeah. Like that, yeah. I have one already. Mm -hmm. But uh loads and all yeah. helicopters is yeah. fifty three. Lovely. Somebody took my man spread and all off as far as I was The knob's gone off, yeah. Yeah. And an advanced uh H one, yeah. Yeah. Audio generator. Yeah. And another one over there on the ground. And that that's there's another wobulator there. That's a That's a very small wobulator, isn't it? Ground dig, yeah. That's solid state, is it? Uh, some of it is, not all of it. What did it, it use for the wobulator? Is it yeah. a motor driven? Uh, no, I think it's a sweep. I have, I have, I have a wobulator at home. Uh, it's a television one. I can't think of the name of it now. It's not Phillips. No. It's not Phillips. No, it's a, an English crowd. Uh, Hutton, one. Hutton, and uh, oh, I Samuel and Hutton. Yeah. Never, never, but I, never seen one, but I heard the name. It's it's done with a motor. A motor drives a variable cap. That's a valve tester. Um, there's another valve tester down there behind. A tiny one. Oh yeah. Oh god, that's a lovely little thing, isn't it? Triplet. Yeah. American. Isn't that just a dainty little thing altogether? And it has the card in here for all the uh, oh, yeah. the oh, different yeah. valves yeah. for the settings. Yes. God, that's beautiful, are they? I think it, it's 110 volt, but other than that, there's not. Yeah, so you just party on with a transformer. Yeah, I have a transformer. Yeah. It's, a it's a lovely nick. Oh yeah, it's a nice nick, yeah. yeah. I will be selling that. Will you? Yeah. What would you be looking for that if you don't mind me oh, asking you a real question? I won't be too much. 50 euro. 
something like that. Yeah. Uh, You're into the ham gear as well. I am a ham. Yeah. I have the license myself. Well, who are what you call? Uh, EIA HMB. Yeah, I'm EIA for oh. real. Ah. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not active at the minute. We're only after moving house there, so. Yeah. Well, this is a. I have two for it here, so one was working, one was not. Uh, the FM 1000s, one is on um, two metres, and the other one is on four. You hear this talk about getting rid of two metres? The French want it back. I know, them, that's on. Mr. Macron is the ship for some big company called Talis, I think. Something to do with drones, or? Oh, yeah, they want to run military drones on but with all the with all the Chinese handsets that's out there now that you can pick up for twenty quid, could you imagine the interference that they get? Oh, yeah. The command receiver. Yeah, I have one of those as well. Yeah, I have that, two. That's, that's a medium wave one. Yeah, I well, have a the long wave one for the NDBs, and then yeah. I have the short wave one, six megs. Yeah, well, they they were used for um, most of them were converted to what they call a Q five. So it's to right. enhance the IF strip, you see, and get your right. selectivity. Yeah. So you can you took the four fifty five out, fed it into that, tuned it in, and then you had a another receiver to yeah give you a bit of enhancement. Very good. Uh, they were they were very commonly used. For that. Let's see if the headphones been on. You <laughs> have DLRs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's this is all old service stuff. After all, I'm keeping all them there. Yeah. Uh, I've marked my only five volt meters up to you again. Ooh. Uh, that's a good one. That's one meters RF and all. And I have a companion for it. I think it's that one there. I know a chap who got one a while ago and he had awful trouble. Uh, the valves needed to be matched in it. Oh, yeah, and some of them do, yeah. In Bogar, yeah. 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 You, need a, you need another valve. The old 5508. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got two lovely ones there a while ago myself. That's not mine, I think. I, I fixed it on the saber and it came and corrected it on the saber. I forgot about the two onions and I forgot to get and it. He, he didn't miss it. And he didn't come back to look for it. I expect he will because he's the type of fellow that will, you know. He doesn't miss part of a, part of a rotator and the rest of it. What's, what's this? That's a unique yarn. Is it a that's dip meter or was it? That's the other one. It's a BC four five three, I think, or something like that. Uh, if you turn over uh, this way, three to eight. Receiver radio. Oh, you know, it is a radio. It's a yeah. receiver from the Cold War era. Oh, what's it for? What 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 was its purpose of being? They gave them to spies so that they could be oh, they could listen. Lovely. To get any messages they were to get. God. It's a long, long time out. Oh, it's actually, oh, look it's at actually, that. It's not transistor, it's valve. It is valve? Yeah. Miniature ones. Wire oh. ended, miniature wire ended ones. And look at the drive there. It has a yeah. two speed drive and all on it. Slow motion and high speed. Does it go? Uh, it, well, it's a particular battery, I forget. What it yeah, is. you'd have to yeah. probably make up one for it, would you? You'd have to make up one for it. Not Probably f uh, 22 and a half old, is it? Something like that. No, it's a peculiar voltage, but it's no trouble. I, I've had it going, so I obviously had it. How does, what's, it, what's its performance like? Uh, it's, it's, yeah. It wouldn't be outlandish, but you, you can hear 40 metres is red hot alive, and it's <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Ah, the high speed valve tester. Yeah. A friend of mine has one of these in England. Yeah, I use that you know, a good bit, but I haven't all the cards, which is a bit. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Some things. and then sometimes people put the cards back in the wrong place in the box. Yeah, yeah. And you can't find them then. I've only one box of cards, and I think it, the full set is at least two, two full boxes. You have a couple of FT101s as well. Yeah, they're scrap. Are they? Well, they were scrap when I got them. I just left them. And maybe I might restore one out of two or something like that. Yeah. Know? Transformers gone in one of them. Ah, and plenty of bottles too. I've no shortage of bottles. Except yeah, the one you're looking for. Except <laughs> it's always the same, isn't it? You'll never find the one you want. No, no. I have a thousand dollars or more. God. And of course you have them all catalogued and you know where to uh, put yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm the same funny, myself, yeah. Funny enough, no, I do know where they all are, but... Uh, yeah. I know where they, I know where they all, I know what shed they're in now, yeah, alright? But after that, I've wanted to put my hand on one now. Were, 
more or less in alphabetical order at one stage, but they got fucked around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that, isn't it? Another yokes that I kept, uh, there a few old satellite receivers, I kept them. Oh, the old analogue satellite yeah, receivers, Yeah, I was thinking on amateur TV at some stage and didn't get round to it. Yeah. That's it. the possibilities are endless, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, there's a million things. There's an old instrument there, now. Oh, yeah. And she's a pattern generator and uh Yeah, the whole lot, yeah. And she's a scope as well. Yes. Oh, it's an old instrument. Yeah. It's an old instrument, but useful, you know. Yeah. Is it going, or...? Oh, yes, it was going on maybe last time before it's on, maybe 20 years ago. What's, what's the tube? <laughs> the tube is out of uh, an old uh, television, believe it or not. Yeah. Very old. It was all that was left of it. I, I kept the tube for curiosity. The rest of it, was, the, rest of it the camera was eaten out of the room. And yeah, yeah. I, I didn't... Uh, oh, it's a Mazda. So it's a CRM 121 or something, is it? Yes, I don't know. This is very old. <laughs> it was something I didn't want to throw out. <laughs> no, you're right. It's a CRM 124. I'm sure someone would want that. I, I don't like throwing things out. There's no, another, you're right. There's another yacht there. It's a signal generator as well, is it? Yeah, it is of some description. There's another one behind. If you lift down those two yards, so there's a table there. Oh, yeah. That's probably a pre war effort, is it? Yeah, it's the 1940s. Yeah. But it was used in the war and afterwards. Uh, I don't know what the other one there. Oh, middle. oh, Phillips one, lovely. Yeah, Phillips made lovely gear, didn't they? Yeah. They did. yeah. GM2877. Yeah. You have a lifetime of work here ahead of you. Oh, I know, have you. You see what's in there? Ah, transmitting valve. A big valve. <laughs> a big one. Not big power, mind you, but big valve. <laughs> what, what, what's she rated for? About 250 watts. Is it a triode? I think it is, yeah. I don't even know it's a DET something or other. There's two of them. It didn't come from up the road, did it? Yeah, they did, yeah. Ah, uh -huh, lovely. There's another one there. You can see the number on this one, you see. Uh, DET. It's either eight or three. You can just see it there. DET three. Yeah, well, that's what it is. There's two of them. Probably be what, 500 watts would they? No, they're not, only 200 watts. Is that all, yeah? I looked, I looked them up. For the size of them? Yeah, but they're old. Yeah. They have something to do with the short wave transmitter. Ah. That they had out there. No, they're, they're not actually mine, they belong to a chap who got them and, and put them there for safekeeping. And put them there for safekeeping. Yeah. I've been telling them recently that they're going to have to move. <laughs> like I'll oh, smash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, tell him they're gonna get broken then he yeah. come for them quick enough then. Yeah. It's another valve tester. Another valve tester. That's an American one, is it? That's an American one. I bought that in America and brought it back, as you see, he's carrying it in his hands <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and do you, have you used this, yeah? Yeah, I've used it, works. Yeah. But that's handy the way it has a oh, all in here, look. Built in. Yeah, they're all built in there. The whole God, that's real handy, are right? Yeah. It was just one of these. I saw it. At a, I was at a boot sale over there, and I saw it. And I bought. No, I paid two hundred dollars for it. But it was worth that. Already. Oh yeah. So the price of valve testers now. Yeah. They've gone stupid all together now. Lads were breaking them up in their backyard twenty years ago. I know that. Yeah. There's more heat kit stuff. Would you be looking to let any of this on at some stage? I will, yeah. I'll sell all this stuff in due course. I've no... I have... Uh, do you know what that is now? There's a unique thing. What's that? That's a HW 101. Unassembled. <gasps> in a box. There's a bit of the assembly done, but... He stopped. He got for you through, he's ha ha ha. No, I'm That's missing. Uh, the VFO was missing. Well, somebody, somebody probably seen it and took it with them, but it wasn't in it when I got it. I've, God. But I've, I've looked at But they have a heat kit in the I box can, now. I, I can buy I can buy one. 
forage for about fifty dollars, like there's no. And to have any heat kit stuff in the box in this day and age. But it's, but it's, it's hen's teeth. Yeah. Hen, hen's teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Is that a PX4 or? Oh, it could be something like that. That's what I don't know. It's, 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 uh, it's a VT46, military, military, military one. one, yeah. yeah. It's a nice bit of last walk there. Yeah. Same base as the old Echo 7 or something like that. So. These things came here. These arrived only last week. Um, yep, some oh, you got a few television valves. Yeah, oh, I have a PL five oh four there anyway. Yeah, we'll pause it there. A valve job, was it? No, no, it's only a small job. All right. You thought the rectifier was gone. The rectifier <laughs> may well be gone, but it's not in that job. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two two four. That's the same as a BC three four eight. Almost identical. Yeah. I actually, I came across one of them a while ago, but yeah. it, it was completely stripped, just yeah. the chassis was left. Yeah. So there's nothing missing on that, as far as it's it actually working. The only thing missing is the cover. Yeah. That that was just a cover over that, and just they used to put different things into them. Yeah. And What's this big test thing here? I don't know. It's portable scope or something, is it? No, I don't think so. I think it might be some kind of a cable tester. Oh, right. Yeah. Telephone. Yeah, cable test it. Mm. Test cables. There's a lot of holes there. Yeah. How do you find business this day, these days? That's ah, quite you no. Know. Are you still doing the flats? Yeah, yeah, I still have repair flat screens, yeah. I get it. Even in, I've told most people that I'm retiring and closing down. Yeah. I'm still getting stuff in. There's another go. What's this? The spectrum analyzer, is it? Uh, it's a field strength meter. Oh. Uh, that displays analog pictures, it won't display digital. But it'll show you digital on the, you, on, yeah. the on the graph. It'll show you the field strength. Yeah. Yeah. It's um that's one nice um It's a nice bit of gear to have out of. I think it's Somebody has made stale on knobs, but these yokes all had knobs on them, sort of, the last time I looked seriously at them. <laughs> sort of, there's a mouse coming in and eating them, I <laughs> uh, Yeah, That's the polyscope. That's the polyscope. Uh, I'd say that's fairly heavy. Uh, that's not just fairly heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it, took, it, took, it took me, when I was a lot fitter. They nearly crucified me to bring it up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I won't be bringing it down. It can stay there. No, no, I, <laughs> I have a young grandson. Right. <laughs> if you can get your hand around, you carry it in one hand. <laughs> oh, good man. And there's the flat hill rubbish there. No, that's not the, the, the flat rubbish, but I'm. I have to wait for permission to run out. There's something yeah. over there. there, there there's a, a computer now, working perfect. Yeah. But it's old and it's uh, Apple. Yes. Everything's just thrown the bin now. Yeah, yeah. It's an old Apple. There are any monitors and tapes in them now. Uh, that's out of a video game. I used to work for a video game crowd once upon a time. Yeah. Um, uh, there are metal detectors, all of them. You've plenty of them, haven't you? Yes. I did have two or two hundred and fifty of them, I think. <laughs> I, I, bought, I bought them all in England. Yeah. They appeared on the market, and um, the first lot of appearance I bought. Second lot appeared, and I told a friend. And another yeah. lot appeared, and I told another friend. And they all bought them. Between us, we bought the whole lot of them. XMOD, are they? Oh, they're MOD, yeah. yeah. They're all MOD. Um, mostly working. I think they're written in the box. I might be short a few headphones and things like that. But I've, I've sold a heap of them. Good. We discovered afterwards there were, were very desirable articles in Germany. So we put a few of them in the German Eva. Yeah. My, my daughter is relatively fluent in German. There's an FRG7 there, so. Oh, flag seven, yeah. I got present to that a couple of weeks ago. Oh, lovely. Uh, Wouldn't fall out with that. No. Oh, well, I was given a telephone. Oh. So 
I had I had several mechanical development or some this man tried, was, wanted to have, have a go at RTTY, oh, good man. the old-fashioned way. No, good no, man, no, yeah, no, I like the sound of that. Not, not the modern way. Not the nonsense way, yeah. I said, somebody told me that I had a heap of teleprinters. I said, they do have indeed, yeah. So, he came here in a car one day and we loaded it up for him. <laughs> I was tempted to get a frog. There was one there for sale a while ago, but he, I don't know. I, I used to got have sent a, in the I end. had a Siemens T100 at one stage. Uh, when I started doing teletap, I was in the army, so I had a whole, oh, right. I had a whole wagon with three T hundreds in it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't take one. Really, what have I, you got here? Huh? Huh? What's this? An amplifier? Yeah, the, oh, that's that's an amplifier. Yeah. That's a serious amplifier. Big job it is, Ari. Right? It's a pair of eight one trees. They tell you they'll do four hundred watts. Uh, they will do a bit more. <laughs> 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 that for probably about five years yeah on teletype and on teletype now 250 watts or thereabouts yeah i've done it on um, other stuff also. on ssb ssb i could get 700 watts or so without any trouble whatever so this is this is your main workshop here where you this is my main where the where the magic happens with the say yeah. The boxes are all panels, Wor working flat screen panels. Yeah, it's all right when you can I find the one you want. On, I have them on the computer, I can find any. Oh, good man. Yeah. Our yeah. man in charge now with a, was a bit more haphazard. He does it a big huge pile. <laughs> in fairness, he, he, he was fairly good now. We could find most of them. I'm sure we all know exactly where they are. We do, yeah. I used to, hey, you used to, I used to run the shop when you go on holidays or that. I could find nothing. No. We did we did hoovers and, and that vacuum cleaners and sold the hoover bags and all. They were just in a pile all over the place now. You know, someone come in. I want a, I want a box of bags for Emily. Yeah, give me come back in an hour. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> uh, whereas he could put his hand on anything, you know. See, I keep going. I have for another while. You've got a five one, a five five one five. I have one of those as well. Yeah, they're good. They are a nice bit of kit, yeah. General, but they're out of date now as well, you see, with the advent of They are, yeah. Of the one that come out after that as well, it's yeah. similar, but it does 16 to 9 as well. Yeah. Instead of Teddy Text. What have you got in Signal Gems? That's a test set, Marconi again. It's for the mobile radios. The oh, yeah. Back in the era of the early transistor and valve ones. But it does everything, measures the power. Yeah. Modulation, depth, everything, you can do it all lot with it if you want to. It's actually working, I use it occasionally as a signal generator. Yeah. Is it? I have a Hewlett Packard generator upstairs, you see it on the shelf there. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a plasma, no more tricks. That's the way it's gone, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that it's not work fixing. It's just. It probably is, but nobody wants to pay the money required. The, they don't. No. no, they and they look at you. We found that in the last there, year. There's an open meter, the same as the one you're looking at upstairs. Oh yeah. In a wooden box. And there's there's at least one more of them somewhere. <laughs> and there's another. See that silver box I saw you behind on the stairs. Yes. That's a, that's another field strength meter. That's a wheezy. Ah. And a very nice meter, but again, it's analog. Yeah. yeah. I used to love putting up aerials before all that came in. Yeah. I used to have a little black and white TV at go up. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could do that. And it was grey. Yeah. They took all the fun out of it. Yeah, I used the field strength meter for a long time. Uh, I had a couple of very good ones. Yeah. And that's only stuff I'm fixing. Sorry, I've decided to fix it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. Oh, look at it. Huh? Keyboard on the bench. Oh yeah. When they left a load of bloody batteries in it for a yeah, start. They did, yeah, they didn't work on by the time I got it. Mm -hmm. We're in Jordan cells, were they? Yeah, but I have to take, take out all of them and key them and see in the contacts. You can see why if you look at some of these. They're the contacts and they're not that thing. No, they're manky. Manky, yeah. And there's no other way of getting in at them. No, no. You no, have no. to pull it all apart. There's no magic spray getting no, in no, there. No, no. There's nothing to do with them. Just like you can see them. No, no. 
But that's the problem though, isn't it? People don't want to pay anymore. No, no. That's what we found with the TV is you quote someone maybe maybe yeah. 180 quid and they say, I struck again, new TV for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's sad the way the whole yeah, thing is gone. That's it in your ass belong to somebody and fixing it from well I it fixed, I just didn't get around to testing it yet. You see there's still a trade in that. Oh yeah. yeah. The TV I, I, end of I, it is I, dead, but Yeah, I fix almost all of the ham stuff, except the very laser stuff. I'm not I'm not too happy, it's too small for the likes of me. The surface mount and all yeah, that nonsense, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can manage the surface mount. But the old vintage radios and all, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. The old vintage radios and that, if they're you, still... If you ever see one of them, buy it. Which? Best all around the world. The, oh, the Mechal, yeah. yeah. I'm using one for, I got from China for 19 quid, and do you know what? It's very good. I don't know. But it's no Mechal, alright. I've heard of them, but we never had them. Seven seconds, it's hot now. Seven seconds. Yes. <laughs> it's red hot now. But yeah. I'd oh, rather not. <laughs> <laughs> and you, that's where you just switch them on and off if you want them because yeah. you, don't, you don't need to, you don't have to wait for them. And you have an Evo 7 there as well. Oh, I have and I have an Evo 8 and I have another two. Mm, I have a Evo few of them as well. They, you know, they I multiply. Have, I have an Evo 40. I have a 40. Yeah. Yeah. I have two of them. One of them needs a new meter. Oh, yeah. Open circuit, is it, Coyle? Uh, don't broke, somebody went at it. Uh, yeah. I got them now. Uh, I got two boxes of valves and two meters. I think you made 50 quid for the whole lot or 55 quid. I can't yeah. remember exactly. I bought them right there. Not big one, not too far from me. Fr a friend of mine was there at the market and he was telling me, I said, what numbers are in the valve? So he read me a few of the numbers. I said, oh, yeah. And they were good numbers, yeah? Yeah, yeah, take, take them. Yeah. <laughs> I said, do you want that one meters? Yeah, well, if they're throwing them in, which is, he said, we'll, we'll see when it goes. He came back to me about an hour later. He said, I got that stuff. I said, what do you pay for it? And I said, 55. Yeah, she wouldn't fall out with that. No. You have a couple of board watt meters as well. Oh, I, I see three, another one hiding I, there. I have three of them. That's, that's the only one that's working. The other, one of them has a meter gone and the other one has uh, a problem I didn't even know. I have one myself and it was never used yeah. in the leather box and all yeah. with the plug-ins. Yeah. As the plug-ins for two meters. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, I have, I have a I'll be letting it on now. You're not interested in it, are you? You have yeah. enough? I might be interested in it if, Would it's, you? if it's new. It is. Yeah, well, we never used. Well, we might we, be able to swap something. We'll, we'll talk about that off camera, as they say. <laughs> we might be able to swap something. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm another thing I'm partial to, you see, board watt meters, because I grew up with them in early electronics. Yeah. yeah. And have you got all the plug ins? No, not all of them, no. The plug ins are the expensive thing as well. They're about 50 what? quid a throw, yeah, maybe more. Yeah. But they're a lovely bit of kit as I well. Was, I bought that one. And another two, three of them, that were on eBay. They yeah. No, they weren't on eBay, they were on a different auction site that I'd subscribed to at the time. Hmm. And uh, I put a bid on them. And uh, not out handy they were, they were selling them as field strength meters. They didn't know what they were. They didn't know what they had. Oh, lovely. So I, I bought the three of them for 50. Well, I've seen them going well, for that, 400. That's, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, that's, but that's. that's what, but they arrived in three leather cases, complete with meters, and the, when I opened it, it's the top six slugs in every one of them. Jesus. So, you can be lucky. You can be lucky. You can be lucky. Yeah. This, that particular auction site, I bought a lot of stuff on this, where I bought the metal detectors as well, for civil military surplus. Hmm. And um, whatever happened, all of a sudden, the pricing totally changed, and you couldn't buy nothing on it. Someone know? went in there and said, here, hold on a minute. Yeah, you're giving this stuff away or something. You know? Yeah. There was, a, there was a lovely, there was a couple of lovely record transmitters on it, but they were too freaking big, and I'd have to get them for you. The yeah. rate would have cost more than the, the transmitters. The problem is now, people, even people now that don't know what they have, yeah. they go straight on Google now. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, I have a board 43. Oh, yeah. 400 quid, yeah. Yeah. you know. They don't realise that that's including all the... All yeah. The well, you just see that now. People are looking for ridiculous prices for oh, stuff as well. You see the old valve radios for sale yeah. on adverts. Yeah. Give me a hundred quid for this thing that's in a shed and riddled with woodworm yeah. and it'll fall apart when you lift it up. I have a few of them. The woodworm ones are gone. A young fella that I know took them out 
and away. He said, I'll kill with the bull one. I said, I'll make a new cabinet for it. <laughs> it's your it pays. Yeah. And the, the works are good. I had three high 39 JH. Oh, yeah. With the push pull output. Yeah. The L33 is. Yeah, two of those myself. Yeah. There's no shortage of them around still. No, no, there's a good There's a good few of them kicking around. They turn up quite often. They're a lovely receiver with the RF stage and all in them. What make are them? <laughs> oh, yeah. You'd have to. Well, it has the adjustable crossover and all on it. If you touch them, you might see how they use I don't know if you can see it down there. No, I turn on the light for you. Wafted. Wafted. Wafted, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, People throw out lovely big speakers to no, get little small ones now. No, they didn't. Nobody threw up those. So no. I, I got them from a fellow that died. His girlfriend came to me about three months afterwards and said, Mick, I said, I have two yachts at the house that I was told to give you. And I said, yeah, I've heard of. Yeah. Said, They're big speakers. Oh, yeah. I said, I remember them. So you, you'll have them. Ray said he was going to give me them when he was dead, and I forgot about it. <laughs> well, he, 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 so you weren't forgotten anyway. He says, hey, obviously, he said I didn't forget. <laughs> he told me to make sure you got them. He says, the rest of them are probably the brothers and sisters and all will want the hi fi. They'll take that, but they won't take the speakers because they're too big. Oh, yeah. And they don't like them. Well, they just don't make speakers like well, that anymore. And, they're, and I, I put them playing there a while ago, and they're great quality. Yeah. Lovely. I'll mm -hmm. keep them all right. Yeah. Right. Well, I might I'll keep them until I bring them home. It's the missus here, and then I won't keep them. Long enough. <laughs> she you have that problem as well. Funny woman, she loves music, but she hates noise. Why hates, wants the she same? Hates, she hates loud music, can't stand it. Why wants the same? She hates it. And you know what else she hates? I'm not allowed to have any of the old stuff in the house. 405 line televisions. <laughs> the, the line whistle goes through our head. Yeah, yeah. She but In the old house we had, we had a. I'd a. I'd a. Uh, Bush TV 56 in yeah, the sitting room for a while. Anyway. She could hear it in the car when she pulled into the driveway. <laughs> and she'd ring me and say, Turn off that effing television before I come into that house or I'll put me foot through it. So, 405 line is a no no in the house. <laughs> she says she can hear it when I'm in the shed. <laughs> yeah, I threw out a few 405 lines. I think they're gone already. Oh, God, no. Would have took them off you. There's not too many of us now that are into that, you see. No, I think there was a dual standard one there as well, but I think that might be gone too. I don't know, mm. it might be there still, I don't know. Sure, we'll have a look. Yeah. I'm going to pause it here, because I'm going to I'm running out of time on my video. Yeah. Even at long now, I'm on the way home, and I stopped at the side of the road just to show you this. This mast in the distance is one remaining mast of two that were there, which was the old RTE medium wave transmitter site. So it's marked, most old vintage radios in the UK and Ireland would have Athlone marked on the drive. So I just thought I'd show you that. There was two masts, but they took one down. So there's one left. I thought I'd show you that.